This is my first. So, first thing we want to talk about is how rip currents are created. And they're created by waves and water. So first, what makes the waves? Uh, what makes the waves? Wind. 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 Wind makes the waves. So wind's blowing over the top of the surface of the ocean and it makes waves. And here's come some waves in. This, these are waves coming in towards the beach. And sometimes we have some sandbars shallower areas of sand piled up. And that's what makes the waves break, right? Because as the water gets more shallow, the waves break over the sandbars, and here we are surfing. We're surfing these waves. But as these wa this water comes in, it's got to go back out. So it finds a deep spot between two sandbars, it goes back out, and makes a current that goes back out towards the open ocean. And a swimmer or a surfer not paying attention, we get caught in a rip current, we might start getting bumped out that rip current straight out. Uh, if we do, what do we do if we're getting caught in a rip current? What do we do, Joel? That's a really good option. One, that's one really good one. Wave our hands. Frankie, give me another one. We can ride it out until it ends. You can ride out the rip current until it ends? That's a good idea too. Because they don't just keep going forever. They go just beyond the surf and then that's it. They dissipate a lot. What's 
Swim parallel to the shore. That's another one. Beautiful. Swim parallel to the shore. You don't want to swim straight back against the rip current because it's really strong. And you, you're going to get tired and exhausted by doing so. But you can probably swim across it to the sandbar and catch the wave in. Now, all these things require you to be doing one thing. Swimming parallel, riding it out. What was the other one? Oh, uh, waving for help. What's that one thing that everybody needs to be doing? CJ's dying to say it. What is it, CJ? Remain calm. Remain calm and what? Remain what else? <laughs> on top of your board. <laughs> on top of your board. That's a huge one. You don't want to panic. You always stay on top of your surfboard. If you're caught in a current, if you're caught in wind, if you're caught in anything out in the ocean, stay on top of your flotation device. Because what's a surfboard other than a giant flotation device? What happens a lot of times when kids panic, they think the board's causing them to float away so fast, and they ditch the board and then try and swim against the current. Like what? Do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah. Bad idea. Why? Called the rescue can. A rescue can? Anybody else get caught ever get caught in a river? Anybody else have a oh, <laughs> CJ did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where was that, CJ? Uh Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Dome Beach. Were you on your surfboard? What's that? Yeah, were you on your surfboard? I was on my surfboard. And it was still too strong. And it was very, very strong. And what'd you do? Uh ride it out, you swim against it, what'd you do? I was swimming against it for a while and realized I couldn't. Uh, swim against it any longer. I was actually getting sucked into a big pile of rocks, so I had to just actually had to turn and start paddling out towards the open sea. So you kind of went with it a little yeah. bit? Went with it. All right. Anybody else have an ocean story they want to share? Yeah, it's Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else got an ocean story they want to share? That one? Anybody have any questions? The question of the day? The answer of the day to the question of the day is that's What's the question? Yeah, let's go surf. <laughs> 